Versatility is a key attribute for any young player here at Chelsea, and it's something that Carl Magne has demonstrated during his time at the club, most recently playing at left-back on his debut for Northern Ireland at under-21 level. Yeah, it was brilliant. It was absolutely brilliant. Um, you know, I hear it sort of referring back to where it all started, but it's it's the story that I've I've come with, you know, and and to be you know to be playing at, at under twenty one level international football is something that I would never have imagined, and uh, and obviously Portugal who are a, are a massive footballing country and you know one of the best teams in the world. It was just a, it was a fantastic experience for me and something I'll never forget. You know, I feel more comfortable as a centre half. However, you know, whenever I've played at fullback, I've really, really enjoyed it, and I think, um, you know, I've spoke to, you know, some of the coaches and, and what they feel as well that I probably, you know, if I'm lucky enough to have a career in football, you know, play there professionally at, at, at fullback, ideally at right back. But you know, I made my international debut a couple of weeks ago at left back, uh, and thoroughly enjoyed it. You know, I think. I think it's the sort of the freedom of getting past the halfway line, and then and being in the other half and being able to play with the with the forward players, and and you almost feel as if you're an attacker, and um, and that is like I say, it's 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 great for me because it, obviously it makes us more appealing uh, to the manager here and to other clubs if they want me on loan that I can play in certain positions. But if I was honest, yeah, I'd say fullback is is probably the position I'd like to cement for the rest of my career. Those attacking aspirations were instilled into Carl by an inspirational role model outside of Chelsea. As growing up, Carl looked up to fellow Geordie and Newcastle legend Alan Shearer. Even though you know I'm, I'm seen as a defensive player, um, being a Newcastle fan, Alan Shearer was obviously a, a big part of, uh, of of growing up. Yeah, he was a brilliant striker, and for someone like Newcastle to have him and score as many goals as he did in the Premier League. Um, but even though I couldn't, can't really relate to him position-wise on the field, his his attitude and his demeanour, you know, off the pitch and and how he he prepared the games and how professional he was is something that I could take on board. During last season here on Inside the Academy, Cole hosted his fellow players on teammates, and he took this opportunity to divulge a bit more information on both his and his teammates' pastimes. We picked up a little habit of going and playing golf. Um, it's usually me, Reese Taylor, and Woodsy, and uh, I'm sorry to, to <laughs> pick on Woodsy on, on on camera, but he has to be the worst golf player I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean, I'm no golf player myself. Um, you know, I'd like I tried to get into the habit, but I, I come in and out of it. Uh, but Woodsy, we went one day, and he, he got all the gear. You know, the Callaway Golf Clubs. You know, he has all the best gear. You know, all the best uh, golf shoes. And uh, and you know he'd said that he'd played a bit before, and and I'm not joking. When he teed off, the ball must have travelled about ten yards and directly to the right hand side. And then he teed off again and did exactly the same. He is terrible, but uh, you know it's nice to be able to get out and and to switch off and and do other things because it can get a bit lonely. You know you're down here on your own, and so. You know, I think me, Woodsy, and Reese in particular have made a conscious effort to, like, you know, sort of go out. Maybe he's going, going uh, into Kingston, do a bit of shopping, or spend a bit of time with each other, go and watch a film or something daft like that. And uh, yeah, we are, we try and, and do as much uh, as much off the pitch as well as on it because you know we're the, it's a good group of lads and, and we get on really well. So we try and and, and utilize that as much as possible. And with John Terry also a keen golfer, does Carl feel he can match the skipper's handicap? I really wish it was possible, but I think I've accepted that. Uh, you know, I, I won't be a golfer in any capacity. But um, you know, I think on the pool table upstairs, because JT thinks he's a dab hand at every sport he goes in for. So I think there's definitely, uh, you know, there's a place where I could expose him up there because, you know, we have the uh, the pool tournaments every year. So when the next one comes around, I'm going to get involved and see if I can knock him off his perch. <laughs>